Hello everyone, it's Ron from Ron's uh, Drone and Camera Channel and today we're back here at the beach again here down in beautiful Margate City, New Jersey and we have a new drone on the channel. This is the Phoebe X8 Mini Drone. Uh, it's the latest uh, 250 gram or under uh, you know, drone uh, in the emerging uh, mini market here of, of you know, lightweight drones. Drones that you not, do not have to register uh, in the U.S. and many other countries. Of course the one caveat here is this drone is uh, it does it doesn't come with the pro battery uh, right right at this point uh, so this drone actually weighs a little bit under 250 grams so I have my uh, I registered with the uh, FAA and put my uh, number on it so uh, we are legal to fly here we're in class G uh, airspace today with no uh, flight warnings of any kind here but uh, back to the drone here so um, I just received it on the uh, May 13th and I've done a little park flight with it, but this is my first flight at the beach here. It is a little breezy down here, so this will be kind of a, a good wind test for it um, at the park. This, uh, this morning it was almost no wind uh, whatsoever. So, um, you know, we got a, 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 we done, we did all our firmware updates. Um, we calibrated the, at the park, the compass, at the park today. And uh, I had a, you know, it didn't go real easily, but I used the Ryan uh, Duvall method of, you know, when I was you know doing the compass dance I was moving it up and down and eventually I got it to calibrate on like the second try so that's not too bad and uh, the only issues I had on the first flight was I had the uh, the dreaded crooked horizon issue even though I calibrated the um, gimbal uh, twice um, you know during that uh, set once before the flight started and once in the middle of the flight it did not seem to help much but um, I will we'll hopefully we'll see better better results on this flight here but uh you know with no further ado we're gonna we're gonna get this thing in the air here see how it does on the uh you know with a little bit of wind down here at the beach and uh see how the camera does in a, in a bright environment excuse the frame rate today because uh, we would have no nd filters for it yet so i'll probably have to put the shutter speed up uh you know very high uh to compensate for the the brightness down here at the beach so um okay let me uh let me get ready and we're going to start in a minute folks one thing i could tell you about this is um you have to use the cable the cut that came with the drone to connect the uh, you know the the drone to the remote control third party cables won't work and even this you have to be real you know particular about um how you plug this in sorry it's making me type this word and again we were connected now we're not connected because i must have just bumped the uh the cable like slightly here like I had a FPV, there it is. So again, it's real sensitive with the cable. Try not to knock the cable. And I'm trying to do too many things. Start this GoPro Hero 9 that I'm uh, filming this with. So, uh, you know, I'm doing, got too much going on here. So let's hit the trash again here. You'll see this all in the screen recording, what I'm doing here. Okay, so you can see my pre-flight flight checklist here. And then all of a, uh, all of a sudden we, we disconnect again here. So we're having some sort of an issue here that I did not have in the first flight. Where we're disconnecting, disconnecting, and I don't know what it is. Um, so I'm going to stop this video. We're going to try to figure yeah, this we're out. Finally, ready to go here. I'm going to start a uh, screen recording at the hope that I won't, you know, kill this app when I'm doing a screen recording, which seemed to happen a minute ago. Uh, let's see here. So I'm on the iPhone uh, 12 Pro. Alrighty, I think we're doing a screen recording. I think we got audio. Uh, I, I, I always seem to have a problem with these screen recordings. But anyhow, let's go back to the Femi app here. And, uh, okay, we're ready for take off. We have 17 satellites. Uh, again, we are going over the airspace and the winds and all that. So, so we're good to go. So let's do the, uh, the automatic uh, uh, takeoff here. And uh, we're going to, I think we're in, uh, we're going to record it uh, 4K30. So, um... I'm going to hit the automatic takeoff with the left hand side of the screen here. We're going to see. We're going to start the recording first. That uh, was a photo. So let's switch it over here to um, video. Okay, we're just doing normal video now. And then we'll change the HDR video uh, later. All right. So uh, we're going to hit the record button. We can hit the record button on the screen, which I just did. Or you can. It's also a red record button on the top of the controller on the left hand side. So. Here we go. So let's see how how she uh, how she hovers here. Okay, we're just doing normal video now, and then we'll change the HDR video uh, later. All right. So uh, we're gonna hit the 
record button. We can hit the record button on the screen, which I just did, or you can, it's also a red record button on the top of the controller on the left hand side. So here we go. So let's see how, how she, uh, how she hovers here. A little hover test there. I think she'll probably go out. I want to move this GoPro a little bit because I think if I don't, she'll go out of the, you know, she'll go so high you won't see it on the GoPro. So, okay, let's go. Oops, here she goes again. Okay, we're still recording. So here we go. We're gonna move it us over here. We're gonna take off. Check this hover out, okay. There she goes, there she goes. I knew she'd go off camera here, but she's holding pretty good. Let me uh, see if I can. There we go, we got her on the, on the GoPro now. So you can see she's hovering pretty good. She goes higher than some of the other drones. So she's recording. Let's turn the uh, gimbal down at us. Okay, there. We're, we're in frame now. So you can see us. So, okay, let's, uh, you know, let's pull that gimbal up. Let's do a kind of a back our way here a little bit. Pull her up. So, okay, we don't need the GoPro at this point. So let's shut that off. Okay, we're just doing the uh, screen recording here. So I have her up about, uh, you know, just, uh, she's up 35 feet. So let's uh, pull that gimbal up here. We'll see how bad the uh, exposure issue is here. Yeah, there's the sun here. So let's face her this way. So we get, uh, yeah, we get the good light here. Even then we may be a little bit overexposed. Let's pull, let's get our, uh, too much this blue sky there. Let's get our rule th uh, thirds down like this so we see we see something around this blue sky here. So we're on all, Do Dr. Auto and everything right here. Let me go change the white balance at least to get it on a uh, sunny day here. Okay, white balance. Let's set the auto. We're going to move it over to a uh, sunny day. Of course, I, it doesn't look like I have any control over the app here at this point. Um, I can see all my telemetry and the stuff works, so oh, let's just run down to the beach a little bit here. We'll bring it back to us since We don't have uh, nothing works on the app here because I did not hit the trust feature because every time I hit the trust feature it killed the killed the application which I that didn't happen this morning and I haven't done any updates this morning so I don't know what's changed so I'm flying in what they call normal mode there is sport mode but you toggle in the settings now you see the crooked horizons uh, back already so it's nobody really nobody in the middle of the beach here so it's uh, Nether Horizon, still, you can still see it tilted. But the camera tilting down for some reason. I'm not moving the gimbal and the camera's tilting down. Okay, what's the... Raise the gimbal, let's turn it around. Sorry about the fast y'all. And, uh, cu and come back into the exposure. I haven't, you know, messed with the gimbal much or whatever, so we're... We got fast, fast y'all, fast everything. I haven't slowed anything down, in other words. Every time I push forward, it, it pushes the uh, camera right down. All right. It's almost back to B now.
here it comes back. So I'm flying completely manual because I don't have a, the app stop sort of working. She's doing real good in the wind out here. I mean, um, you know, it's a, when I looked at the UAV forecast, it said 10 mile per hour sustained and uh, 20 mile gusts. So, um, but the, she's really doing good. Let me see if I can um, see if the app's working any better now. Uh, oh, I, the app started working again. I've got it in support mode here. So let's see if I could go back to camera settings now. Uh, let's see here. White balance. Huh. Some things I seem to have control over and some I don't for whatever reason. I got to have it on video quality medium, but I can't seem to change anything in the camera settings. Which again, it, it's all me because I didn't do that trust thing at the beginning because it keeps turning the thing off. I don't have it on beginner mode. Huh. Hey, interesting. Let's see how we like sport mode here. little bit here. Nice thing flies. I'm up to 47 miles per hour. Yeah, this thing flies in sport, but this thing uh, seems faster than the Mini, the, uh, the DJI uh, Mini 2. Flight controls, of course, aren't quite the same, but uh, there it is. It's it's a rocket ship, though. So let me land this and see if I can get uh, full control of these settings here. I'd probably be the only way. I just got a manual in here. I'm not going to do a uh, precision landing. Well, let's let's try a precision landing uh, or compass interfere. Please fly carefully. Let's let's do a return home. See how she does on a return home. I think I got a program to go up to like just a little over 100 feet and then do a return to home. But it's not doing that. It's just coming down. It seems to be hovering. Landing, landing pad detected on the screen. You can see that in the screen recording, of course. All right, let's hope she doesn't land off course on the sand. Looking good though. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, at the last minute. Just a little bit in the sand. Alrighty. Well, we'll give her. Give her A for effort there, as they always say. But uh, let's we'll see if we can get this um, app reconfigured here or get it going again. Alright, let's see if I have enough uh, trust. 
Let's see if I can go in there and change the camera settings now. Okay, high quality, yes. 4K 30, white balance, sunny, color, vivid, black and white, D, uh, F log, vivid. The general looks pretty vivid to me, so I'm going to keep it there. Mastering mode, uh, metering mode center. Let's go average. Uh, Precision landing zone, uh, support mode. Let's take out of support mode. Maybe we don't really need that. I wonder if this has a, um, what do you call it, um, uh, like a cinema mode in it. So, okay, here's something else, folks. Uh, I'm going to see if you can see this. Um, if you, um, I can't tell if you can see this in the video or not here. If you want to take it off, uh, just manually without using the uh, takeoff button, just pull the sticks down and in, and then push this up. That's how you manually take off with it. So you do not have to use the on screen takeoff button. And then you can see, you can see it there. You know, uh, battling the wind a little bit, doing a real good job, hanging in there really well. So uh, don't be afraid of taking this little guy out in the wind here. I mean, looks like. I, you know, it's got a few issues here, but uh, bow in the wind's not one of them. So let me see if I can hit this e EV button on screen here. Okay. Looks like I could, I could change the EV. I don't know. Okay, there's the EV, but I don't know how you change the... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know how you, you know, you actually change the EV. You can make it pop up on the screen, but... How you change it, I do not know. Uh oh, she's sinking for some reason. Uh, just a little bit. So okay, let's go. Let's go take another um, little beach run here. Look at this, I've got, I've got my horizon sort of straight here. Yeah, I've got the horizon fixed, for now anyways. So I keep stocking my gimbal down. I don't know if I like the sunny wave balance, I think I like the normal wave balance better. And that's it. This is a speedy little guy. I'm down at that pier in no time. Yep, she's a speedy little uh, little drone. Okay, let's hit let's hit the return home and See how she does. Okay, here she comes back again. And uh, it didn't handle this exposure well. The screen looks real dark uh, now. And again, I don't know how to uh, manually change the uh, EV. We're at 50% battery life. So the battery life is uh, really well good on this. I've been messing around for a while. Especially trying to, you know, 
figure out my disconnection issue. Now, of course, here the horizon really got off on us here. Yeah, it's getting worse and worse on this re return home trip. So it comes back fast. It's doing uh, yeah, 20 miles per hour. Now, it doesn't come back as fast as I manually took it out, which, okay, it's almost back. It's uh, 123 feet up, so it's, it's, it's almost home. There it is. It's right here. Let's see if we can cancel this. Okay, we're going to click on the return home. Uh, are you sure you want to exit? Yes. Okay, so we cancel return to home. So she's hovering right above our head here. So let's see here. All right, let's try uh, let's try some photos here. We've been running some video. Okay, let's uh, we're gonna stop the video here using the button on the uh, controller, the red button. Okay, and we're gonna switch this on the right hand side under the red button. We're gonna switch that movie camera to a photo. And there we go. And then we got the uh, you know I don't know our configuration for photos here. I don't know if we got it set at the highest quality or not. So let's go up here. Go to the camera again. Now we're on photo size. Okay, we do have it on the bigger 4x3. And let's go JPEG and DNG so we get kind of a raw file in there too. Um, uh, white balance, we still keep it sunny. Uh, color general. Uh, meter mode average. Okay, so let's, let's take that picture here. Photo taken. Okay, that's a nice indication. So let's see if... Uh, we can uh, go up here to the photo button again and choose HDR. Okay, so now we should get an HDR photo. Photo taken. And we didn't have any indication of what kind of photo it took, but all right. So let's see. Um, I want to see. If, okay, I couldn't change EV, but let's see. I see. Okay. Now, if you hit the four by three mode, it takes you to the settings to change it there. Let me hit EV again. So I said I don't. It doesn't take me to a spot where I could change the EV. What's this first one here? The the the, the it looks like the you know the lens angle saying minus ten point six. I don't know what that could be either. So okay, well let's go let's go this direction here. I wonder if we can spin this out of the crooked horizon. Uh, maybe a little bit. Let's shoot a photo towards the land here with all the buildings here. See how that looks. All right, try another HDR. And look, I got the horizon straight by spinning around a lot. Angle just down just a little bit, but yeah, I mean the, the horizon's yeah, almost straight, maybe just a little bit off. Okay, there's a photo. All right, and now look on the bottom left-hand part of the screen here. You see the indicator showing you, you know, which way the drone's uh, facing and in relationship to, um, you know, you know, me and, and, and True North here. So I'm going to pop that up and make it into like a map. So let's see if we can hit this. Oh, that's the button. I'll say. Can we make that bigger? There we go. Now we've got the... But so, for some reason, we don't have the map. For so some reason, we don't have a... Um, you know, as I connect to the uh, the phone's Wi-Fi to get that data in. So that's something we got to figure out. So, okay, let's just go back here again. And let's turn that back into that little indicator of what way the drone's going. Like, say, for instance, if uh, I pointed it... Oops. You know... Uh, I'm pointing too much. If I pointed it right at me, the the front of the nose of the drone there would come, you know, right back to me if I push the stick forward. I mean, it's basically right above my head, so it's not a very good indicator of anything here. But um, all right, well, let's go back to um, video here. Let's use some HDR video. You see, a time lapse down there, which we'll try on another uh, video here. And uh, I was going to do a little tracking here, but I think I'm running low on the battery. Uh, well, let's try it here. Uh, you want to see the HDR video or the uh, or some tracking? Let's let's work on it. Let's do a little tracking first. So um, maybe we could do that in HDR video. So we're going to go up to. Um, I 
back in here again. We're going to go to quick shots. We're going to go to, um, I don't see file here. Maybe it's under intelligent flight. Okay, here it is. Smart track, what we want. So we're going to do trace. So, okay, there's the instructions. Uh, you typically thing, draw the box. So let's bring it down. Are we, are we still, still recording on the GoPro? Not sure. Hold on. I'm not recording on the GoPro, so we're going to turn the GoPro on again. And we're going to bring this drone down. Low battery. Please land ASAP to avoid damaging. Okay, we're in trace mode now. See if it can follow me down the beach here a little bit. Alright, it seems to be right on me here. When you do this, make sure you don't run into any trees or bushes or anything like that or telephone lines. I'm already getting a low battery warning, please land. But um, you can see the on the screen now. Let me walk towards it and see if it, it'll back up for me. Nah, it's because it's going to let me walk underneath it. But let me walk underneath and see if it's smart enough to turn around and follow me. Nah, it lost me. Let me turn it around. See if it can refine me. So, a, a smart track mission was completed, so I think it wants to land. We're down to, um, I've, I've lost that connection again. I'm going to bring this drone down. folks so we'll wrap this uh you know uh first full test flight at the beach i mean it uh, it was a mixed bag uh these connection issues with the controller um were really puzzling because i did not have that at home at the desk or out uh, at the park on the park flights so i don't know why i kept losing a uh, connection i you know i don't know if i was my wires weren't tight even though i reconnected both ends i don't know if i'm something with the controller pulling that inside wire you know that's uh, loose uh so there yeah, it's kind of a mystery here um I, I think i did tell you earlier and you have to use the proprietary cable that uh phoebe said you no other cable would work like a basic apple um you know cable will not work on this it has to be the cable they set so um i hope it's not a bad cable because i'm probably going to have a long wait for another cable on this uh <laughs> 
so because uh, you only get one cable for each uh, type of phone so um, I'm gonna have to research that but overall the drone uh, the drone handled well um, it was very fast in sport mode it was fast in regular mode but it was very fast in sport mode I'm gonna say it's a little bit more sporty than the um, the DJI Mini 2 which we're mostly comparing it to um, you know the controller the sticks uh, seemed to be uh, pretty good I mean what didn't fly is it wasn't as locked in as uh, again the Mini 2 was uh, but it made up for it and the speed like to get down to that pier there which is about a thousand feet away from where I'm standing I mean you know that got down there real fast like it was a bigger drone like a 92 Pro or an Evo 2 uh, Pro or something like that so um, you know uh, we got hit or miss here but I'm gonna say mostly good um, you know we got the app seems to be um, you know well laid out the, everything seems to function pretty good it's a couple things that you know as a end user like uh, figuring out how to change the EV that that's on me not necessarily the drone so um, I only got one battery, so these are short tests here. We could, you could not order a multi-battery uh, kit with this, so we only got one battery for now. Hopefully, they'll come out with that pro battery uh, that allows you to fly at under 250 grams, which is important for uh, many people out there. So, um, okay, let's wrap it up in the field here. Maybe we'll do another little like uh, pros and cons or whatever at the desktop when we get back. But for now, we're gonna you know call this a, a flight and. Uh, you know, I'm going to call it a most successful flight. Um, you know, with the the you know the Femi X8 mini drone, the new uh, budget 250 uh, gram or under drone. Uh, I I purchased this from AliExpress at a pre-launch price of 319, which I think will go up. Uh, you know, later on when the drone becomes a little bit more mainstream. One of the uh, rumors going around that they only you know sent out initially like 500 or so, and us first 500 kind of a beta testers uh you know for the uh for the drone so who knows uh but um anyhow you know i'll be doing many more videos of this so you're interested in the femi x8 just you know subscribe uh you know ring the bell for you know we're gonna go you know non-stop uh femi x8 you know through all the firmware updates and all the app updates all the trial and tribulations of uh you know uh kind of going through a um a brand new drone uh which still has some uh firmware bugs to get ironed out uh so okay see you in the next one